Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Mike Potter here, AMP on uh, Drupal.org. Um, just wanted to sh give you a quick um, demo of the installation process for the new Aurora theme. Um, Aurora is definitely by far my favorite uh, uh, base theme that I've used so far. Um, it's a mi minimalistic theme, kind of like uh, Mothership and um, and a little bit like Zen and the new Omega Four, but um, I, I find it to be sort of the, the most minimalistic with giving you just the right amount of um, tools and, and, um, and helpful you know, structure and everything. So um, I just wanted to show you um, they released a new version and they now use Yeoman to generate the sub-theme, which is awesome. So I wanted to run through that process just to show you how easy it is to spin one of these bad boys up. So if I go over here, I just have a, a base, fresh Drupal installation here. First thing I'm going to do is, with Drush, I'm going to download Aurora, the new Aurora base theme. All right, so as you can see, 3.4, that's a new version that just came out. Um, so after that, what I want to do is, with the help of Yeoman, I'm going to whoops generate um, a base theme. But first, I'm going to install Yeoman. So if you haven't already done so, you can um, install it with uh, using using uh, npm with this command here. So just run that, and that will add it to the list of Yeoman generators on your local machine. So once you've done that, you can go to your Themes, as you can see here, that's the Aurora base theme. And I'm gonna run Yo Aurora. I think that's what it. Yep. Awesome. So the first thing it's gonna ask me for my theme name. I'm gonna say my theme. It's gonna say it. If you read the, if you're not familiar with um, Aurora, Aurora comes with a couple different um, flavors. I think they call it of um, how they structure the SAS, SAS partials. Um, so uh, you can read through the documentation online here, and it'll explain what the difference is between the three um, or four they might have now. Um, I haven't checked out North, but um, let's just roll with Aurora here. So I'm going to hit Enter. Now it's going to ask what what extras would you like included in your uh, sub theme here. So there's three different things: gulp, bower, and grunt. Um, bower is a uh, package manager, well, dependency manager. So um, you you definitely want. I would definitely recommend checking that. So it comes with a bunch of different things. Can't think of off the top of my head. Maybe like normalize and a couple other uh, libraries. Now here's where you need to make a decision between grunt and gulp. Both do pretty much the same thing in two uh, different ways. Um, I was a huge fan of grunt. Um, the more I see from gulp, I really like it. Um, and I think they have um, they have uh, browser sync, which is a new tool that I just I love. I'm obsessed with. And I think they have it in gulp. I'm not sure if they have it in grunt. So you have to pick between one or the other. Let's let's pick uh, Gulp for right now. Hit Enter. It's going to go out and fetch all of the gems. Um, automatically download those for you. Awesome. Okay, so it's finished. Now if we look at our uh, theme directory, we now have a new uh, sub-theme called My Theme. So let's cd into that. Check it out here. 
Sublime. All right. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> went ahead and installed all the node modules um, that are used within uh, Gulp um, and uh, with SAS. And it also um, installed uh, a SAS partial that um, is the Aurora flavor of, uh, of SAS partials here, which is, which is awesome. So if we go to our website now, should be able to enable that sub theme. We'll enable and set that to default. Check it out, and ah, oh, look how wonderfully amazing it looks. So, um, what we want to try out now is the cool new um, plugin with uh, called Browser Sync. Um, Gulp uses uh, Browser Sync to automatically inject. Um, new styles um, into the browser. As soon as you hit save and it compiles your SAS um, into uh, your CSS, it will inject it into the browser. So that's cool. Um, there are a couple different plugins that uh, I think the old, the last version of Aurora had um, used Grunt uh, Live Reload. But what, uh, what else, the other thing that browsers think has the ability to do is keep, if you have multiple if you have your website pulled up on multiple devices it will actually keep those in sync so if you're scrolling you're changing pages it'll keep all of those um, uh, in sync with browser sync so it's a really awesome tool I'm really loving it um, so if we go here we are in our theme directory and we hit uh, gulp we can see that gulp is running um, if you get an error that says, uh, uh, you know, gulp is not a, uh, a known um, command, then you're going to need to install gulp. Uh, but we have gulp up and running here, so what we want to do is do gulp server. So that'll do, that'll start watching our SAS files, um, it'll, and it will start browser sync for us. Now with browser sync, that what they want you to do is put these uh, scripts into um, your your web page so that it can connect to it. Um, luckily, Drupal has a module for that. Browser sync. Browser sync, awesome. So let's go ahead and download that. All right. Now, very helpful on the on the uh, module page here. It says that we have a list of um, of variables that we could set. So if we open up our settings.php file, we can we can configure our settings. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of my settings.php file. I'm going to paste those in. Awesome. So let's take a look at those. So there's a bunch of different settings here. You can uh, uh, tell it what the exact version number is, um, whether browser sync should be enabled for non-admin pages and admin pages. Um, so that's cool. But what we want to do is we want to configure these these three settings here to get it to work for us. So the the IP address the socket port and the client port. Awesome, so let's do that. Um, whenever we run gulp, it actually gives us, or I'm sorry, whenever we, we, whenever we run browser sync, it actually gives us those settings. So if we go back to our themes directory, Aurora demo, all themes, my theme, we, we run gulp, Ah, uh, server. 
All right, it actually tells us um, what we want to throw in there. So here's our IP address. So I'm going to grab that, throw it in here. Here's the port number for that. And client port number is 303001. Awesome. So let's save those settings here. Go back to our theme. We refresh the page. Clear cache first. All right. So let's test this out. Go here into just open up one of our SAS partials here. And we're just going to do a general background change. All right, check out our settings file, make sure all of our settings are correct here. I'm gonna actually comment out this line. All right. So now, whenever we change the background color, it's going to automatically inject those. Awesome. Very cool. So, <clears throat> as you can see, whenever we change those, the styles are being automatically injected. So, that's how you set up um, Aurora using the new Yeoman generator and connecting the built-in browser sync plugin that uh, Gulp utilizes um, and getting that to work with the Drupal browser sync module. Um, hope that helps. Talk to you later, guys.